Good morning everyone and and the video will continue on into showing you Kennedy Space Center which I'm really really looking forward to I've mentioned it multiple times that's how excited I am um, it's gonna be a great day I've got a tour booked um, to take me up there um, so I don't have to worry about driving or you getting an uber or whatever like that I've just got to get to the hotel first and it's just really really early and how early it is it is still dark outside so that's fun, and I'm actually quite hungry at the moment, so I'm going to go see if the cafeteria downstairs is open, which I'm not sure whether it will be, but hopefully it is, and then Uber it over to the, to the hotel where they're going to pick me up, and then head to, head to Kennedy Space Center. Yay! So we're here at NASA, and I'm very excited, very, very excited. You can see the rockets behind me. Um, I'm gonna go straight to the Atlantis, as my tour guide said. to come back and finish off the, the exhibition hall. It's absolutely well done. So off to lunch we go with an astronaut. Um, should be pretty awesome. Don't know how many people I'll be having lunch with, we'll see. But should be a nice experience and I'm really really hungry. So that's definitely a good thing. I just had lunch with Fred Gregory, um, one of the astronauts in the 78 group. Um, he was also acting director of NASA for a little bit.
So this portion of the flag that I am standing on currently, you can see my feet in comparison to the size of it and how big everyone is on it, is the exact same size as what the flag is over there. However, this is only a portion of it, so you can hardly see the stars on this, but you can definitely see the stars on this one. So, it is absolutely massive when you think about it. seen everything but I've seen everything I'll quickly run through most of the exhibits here um, but now it's about time I head back to the bus um, unfortunately it's a really 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 nicely done museum um, not as good as the World War Museum down in Canberra in Australia but in terms of the experience in terms of the immersive nature of it it's absolutely brilliant um, I love the rocket garden. I haven't been able to explore it that much, but it really gives you a sense and it welcomes you into the concept of this is a space facility and really makes you feel small in comparison to what the meaning and the messages behind Kennedy Space Center really. Hello everyone, um, I forgot to do a um, sign off video last night um, because essentially I got home later than I wanted, was pretty grumpy about it to be honest, um, the, the, the drive back was just horrible, I left a girl at NASA so we had to go back and pick her up, um, the, the guide was just yapping all the way about her personal life, about random things, it was just annoying. Um, the bus driver and the guide were fighting the entire way, so it just was not a pleasant experience. Um, but I got back to the hotel at about nine o'clock. Um, nine, yeah, not about nine o'clock. Um, had dinner, came back up to a room, watched some TV, and just went to bed. Um, so, sorry about that. But this morning, we are going to Universal for the first time. Yay! But I have to grab breakfast first. But you'll see all that in the next video. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more of my videos, subscribe. And um, I will see you tomorrow, today, this morning, now. Bye!